What's up everybody? My name is Yen Ziwe and I'm going to be your instructor for today. Okay, so today we're just going to do basic stretches that you're going to do before you do your warm-ups, right? So it's actually important because we know that when we sing, we don't actually sing with just our throats. We sing with everything, right? So if you're going to be required to belt, you need to do that from your core like we had learned before. You also have to use your chest and your head, but those are just one of the things, a few of the things that you have to use. You also, your posture is very important, right? So we're going to do just a few stretches that you are, I mean, I, I suggest you do <laughs> before you do warm ups. That'll just make it easier for your voice to come out, especially when you're belting. And also it'll make it cleaner for when you're doing um, your falsetto voice, right? Which is your head voice. Okay, if you, you need any um, clarification on those, we did a lesson um, before. Um, check that out and then you come back here so that we make it easier for you. All right. So what we're going to do first for your stretches, it's important that your posture, right? You sit with your chest out, not completely out like that just out normally your normal posture just um your shoulders high up and your your head where it should be right not slouching just sitting up okay so then what we want to do is we want to hold our head like that and pull that way right because that make sure there's a distance between your shoulder and your neck right should form some sort of angle and then you just do that for 15 seconds, right? And we should be at five, four, three, two, one. And then you do that again that side. Okay. This just helps that your, um, your throat knows what's about to happen. Right, we do outward exercises for the inside of our throats. And then we should be at five, four, three, two, one. If you're doing that correctly, it shouldn't feel too strained. It shouldn't feel like you just hurt yourself so you don't go too far that way or too far that way because it'll hurt you. Okay, so you just want to make sure that your throat is relaxed. For your, for your voice to come out, okay? Then what you want to do, and then this will help with the way you project and articulate your voice, right? Just um, create like um, the, the, the position of yawning, right? So you... And you hold that, right? You hold that. Do that four times. Just open your mouth for 15 seconds consecutively, okay? So you... That should open your jaw, and it will work perfectly for when you're articulating, all right? That is exercise number two, or rather, let's, let's call them stretches, stretch number two, right? And then the last one I think that we're going to do for today, if you want more, don't forget to comment down below. If you want to see more, and of course, um, we have DVDs that are coming up. So um, just let us know if you would like some more. But if, um, if you want more personal things, just comment down below and we will see to that you're answered and questions and all of that, right? Okay, so the last one that you're going to do, just to make sure that your throat is resting and, and relaxed, is you're going to lip trill. So what lip trilling is, is... Right? But you're going to do that from a lower, a lower range to the highest range. The best thing to do, if you're a beginner, is to, to do do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Right? But lip trilling... And then you go up the scale, right? Up, up, up and away, right? But don't make sure you're not um, going too high up because you're still just stretching your vocal folds and your throat, right? So let's catch each other next time on Musician Live. 
the home for the musician uh, my name is yin ziwe and i'm very excited to see you grow with us all right bye